Hey people, I'm back with another tutorial on FontLab. And this one is going to be kind of cool, actually. Um, if you're bothered with the pen tool inside of FontLab, because I know I am, and that's why I researched on the internet to find alternative ways of uh, drawing glyphs. And I found out that you can actually draw them inside of uh, Illustrator and copy-paste them into FontLab but you need to tweak your Illustrator document a little bit before it's possible. So that's what I did, and it's downloadable in the sidebar. I'm just going to open it up here. Um, I put it on my website so you can download it from the sidebar here through the link. And this is just basically ready to go. It's set up. Everything is set up, and all you need to do is draw your glyphs and copy them in here and then paste them into the glyph window in FunLab. But let me just go through it step by step. I included a little guide up here, so um, if you get lost, you can always go check if everything is um, as it's supposed to be. So um, let's just pretend that you opened up this Illustrator file. So uh, what you want to do is go and make sure that everything is set up the right way. And go into the settings of Illustrator, and under Guides and Grid, make sure that it's set to 10 points and 10 subdivisions <clears throat> and that's going to give you a very fine grid and say okay okay to that and then you're going to make sure that I'll open it up again here I'm a little bit confused today sorry <laughs> file handling and clipboard make sure that it's set to be this don't ask me why just do it <laughs> and just hit okay to that and then you want to make sure that let me just see here I'm gonna come back to this part later so um, unlock your guides layer over here and just basically select all the guides here and right click boom, boom, make guides there it is whoops sorry and so you turn those into guides and now you want to go up to view show grid first of all and view snap to grid so now you want to go yeah just go ahead and lock your guides again and yeah switch to font lab make a new document um, go into font info file font info and metrics and dimensions and go into key dimensions uh, and this is a very important step. This is going to make sure that when you copy um, a shape from Illustrator into FontLab, it's going to be positioned um, at the exact same place. So I just made some uh, values for my guides in here. Of course, you can change them according to uh, what font you're going to make. But um, let's just assume that these are good enough for now. And these are the values. The center is 773, so I'll go check inside of Font Lab, a center. Oops, it's not 773, so I'm going to change that to 773 and caps, 733. Just going to go through this. X height, 527. Uh, 527, and the center, negative 227. Mm -hmm. Where is it? There it is. Negative 227. Baseline zero, yeah. So now they are the same. I'm just gonna open up my glyph window here. So let's you know, just test and see if it works. Um, I'm gonna go up to my layer here and switch to my lovely pen tool here, which is a lot more intuitive than the drawing tool in Font Lab, in my opinion. Um, and yeah, I have snap to grip. Yes. So. Um, let me just... Actually, I think I'm going to make uh, a square just to make an example here. Just to clear out what I mean. So right now it's from 0, 0, and then let's just make it up to the cap height. It's going to fill it. And it's very important that before you copy anything from Illustrator into FontLab that you fill your shape. Do not copy outline shapes like this. Because uh, it's not going to, you know, it's not going to be inserted properly. So fill your shape, command C, let's copy that here, switch to font lab, command V. Section notice it just fits 
nicely into uh, into my grid uh, guidelines here. You can see that my my baseline here is perfect, and moving up to my X side sits perfect to that. So um, all that is possible because I set up my document the right way. So um, now all you have to do is just you know use your imagination and uh, create some cool shapes like the one I just made here and just paste them right in. So um, yeah, that's basically how you can draw your glyphs in an alternative way um, using Illustrator. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, leave any comments if you uh, if you have something to say. Cheers.